Yep, we're up to a thousand subscribers now. Now, I'm always getting comments of people asking about various cars. Am I still working on them? Did I give up on them? What are my plans for them? Do I even still own them anymore? So, in this video, to get everyone caught up to date, I'm going to show you every project car I own, its current status, and my future plans, if I have any. Including two cars that haven't made it on video yet. Now, this will not include other cars that I've worked on, or you may have seen on this channel that I don't own. This is pretty much just the cars that live here. Anyway, let's get started. Now, here we have the 1961 Ford Falcon, the car that pretty much started my channel. I said in a previous video I planned to have this thing finished by summer of this year, and obviously that ended up not happening. I've just been busy with other stuff. I have been making some progress on it. I've been cleaning up the side moldings and putting them back on one by one. The good news is nothing I've rebuilt on this thing has failed yet. It's been a pretty dependable driver. I've been driving it off and on these past couple of months. I was glad I was able to get it repainted because that made a huge difference. It's like a brand new car now. I plan to go after the interior next. That will be the next big project. I've been putting money aside for that. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do that, but when I do, you'll see it here on this channel. And here we have the 2004 Chevrolet Classic, or Chevrolet Malibu Classic, whatever it's properly called. Now, you may think this is kind of an unusual choice car for me. Now, I bought this thing pretty much just for transportation, but also, I kind of have a thing for GM front-wheel drive cars from the mid-80s to the mid-2000s. I've been around a few of them growing up, mostly W bodies, and I have some experience with them. Now, I know a lot of my audience also loves cars of this generation, but there's probably not going to be very many videos of this one in the future, reason being there's just nothing wrong with it, and I don't have any long-term plans other than routine maintenance. But if any of that changes, I'll let you know. And here we have the 1913 Ford Model T Touring Car Body Project. I've gotten a lot of people asking about this lately, not just on YouTube, but in person. It's gotten quite a following lately, like this past month, which I'm kind of surprised about. Now, I know it's been a while since I've worked on this. I really hate to get your attention and then just leave you waiting for no one knows how long. I hate when other people do that. Now, back when I started this, I figured I'd have nothing to do for the rest of the year and I'd get this thing together in a few months. And boy, was I wrong. The good news is, as you can see, I've gotten back to work on it. I'm now working on the wood frame. And I'm currently working on a video of it right now, so I'm not sure when that will come out, but keep your eyes out for that. And this is a 1965 Chevrolet Impala convertible. You've probably seen this in the background of just about every video. I restored it back in 2016-ish. It doesn't really have an interesting history. It was a parts car that I pieced back together. Now, currently, the rear axle is in pretty bad shape. Everything in it is completely worn out, and the transmission is about the same. The synchros are shot, and the shift linkage is a mess, so it's not really drivable right now. Just waiting its turn, pretty much. So, there'll probably be videos on this in the near future. And this is a 1918 Ford Model TT one-ton truck. I bought this a few years ago for no reason other than it was cheap, and I figured I could use parts off of it if nothing else. But it immediately proved itself useful as a truck, just for hauling things, and I've been using it for that ever since. Now, I've done a lot to it in the time I've owned it. It didn't have a cab when I got it, so I made this one. And you may notice it does not have truck wheels on the back. That's because it's got a Model A passenger car rear axle that I put in it. The original truck rear axle was just, everything in it was broken and shattered and very poorly fixed. And it, like most of the big trucks, was geared 7.25 to 1, 
which gave it a cruising speed of about 18 miles per hour. Now this rear axle that I had lying around that I just threw in it, it's geared 3.78 to 1, which allows it to go 30 to 35 miles per hour, which is more drivable in the city. Now this truck has done a lot of work behind the scenes, carrying parts and supplies for most of the other cars. It still has problems that need to be fixed, but for the time being it runs, so I just kind of leave it as is. And there you have it, the entire collection. Now, if you're wondering, no, I'm not planning on getting another car anytime soon. I've got more than enough to keep myself busy for a while now. Anyway, thank you everyone very much for subscribing and watching my videos, sitting through my terrible voice and my lack of emotion. You've been giving me a lot of motivation to get this stuff done around here. I'm amazed that we made it this far, but actually, we're probably just getting started because there's still several topics I haven't even tried to make videos on yet. But anyway, thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, whatever it is.